Genomic indexes, or evaluations, add an extra dimension to young Holstein bull indexes. They allow us to estimate the genetic merit of an animal by assessing its own genetic makeup, or DNA. Including genomic information obtained from the animal's genetic material, or DNA, raises the reliability of a genetic index from around 35% for a young bull without genomic information to around 55-65% to 65 for a young bull with genomic information. This means that a young bull can be used for breeding dairy heifer replacements with greater confidence that his daughters will perform closer to expectations than a bull whose index is based on parent average information alone. If carefully selected, young bulls with genomic indexes offer the opportunity for dairy herds to make more genetic progress. Dairy Co Breeding Plus is an independent service who provides genetic evaluations to the UK using data collected through herd books and milk recording. We now are going to enhance the service by providing genomic evaluations. The benefit of genomic evaluations comes through their speed and reliability of the indexes. By having a more reliable assessment of a young bull at an early age, the farmers can use those bulls with more confidence than was previously possible. And by using these bulls earlier, we can reduce the generation interval, which then gives the potential on farm to increase genetic gain. But there are certain things to be aware of when using genomic evaluations. The reliability of a genomic index is still less than that of a typical proven bull based on milking daughter performance, which is typically 85%. This means genomic indexes are more likely to change over time and the magnitude of that change is potentially greater. Individual young bulls with genomic indexes should therefore be used sparingly, up to a maximum of 13% of the herd per bull, and as part of a mix with daughter-proven bulls. I think the key benefit to the farmers with genomic testing is going to be getting the bulls into the system a lot sooner than we, w we have traditionally done. It can take anything up to five years from birth to get one of these bulls like you see here uh, a full proof which farmers would trust and we can have that much sooner and improve our herd. To get the most out of genomics there are some things that need to be taken into consideration. It's important to carefully study the bull's index just as though he were a conventionally tested sire don't overestimate the reliability of a genomic index, which will be lower than that of most progeny tested bulls whose daughters have been assessed on their actual performance. Remember, the lower the reliability of the index, the greater the chance the index will change. A bull without genomic information will have lower reliability and therefore the change is likely to be greater. A bull with genomic information will have higher reliability and therefore the change will be smaller. Ask your AI company to show you how many milking daughters the bull has in order to establish whether he's a genomically evaluated or daughter-proven sire. Use a mix of daughter-proven and young genomic bulls with a good index to obtain a balance between risk and reward. Don't overuse any young, low-reliability bull with or without a genomic index. And finally, there's nothing mystical about genomic evaluations. A young bull marketed as a genomic young sire may be no better or worse than any other bull. However, using genomic evaluations will allow you to be more confident in your selection of a bull. For more information on using breeding tools in practice, Dairyco has produced the booklet Breeding Briefs. This and other information can be found on the Dairyco website.